Greetings, this is Vodril and welcome back to Let's Play Knee Deep. Where we finished the first chapter and now we're at the end of the mission. Text the babysitter. That's different than before. The Prologue Theater spares no expense for its tasty concessions. Ready to resume the Swamp Noir story of Knee Deep? Alright, Act 2. It's uh, a glorious night for a festival, celebrating the founders of Cypress Knee. It's the perfect time to reflect on where we've been and what our ailing town could be. It's a captive crowd. Print to hear my political plea. I think you mean primed. Ain't got nothing to do with opening crates. The character. Ready to man. Halt those Force. zealots. Let the festival commence for you and for me. Sort for me. The letter fell. Basking in the neon delight of the Founders Day Festival lights. Remember this night. Never forget, for good or ill, the janitor we knew so well. His choices down a dark path led, but never would I wish him dead. Remember this night. Hold dear the lawmen. Forever in our memories dwell. They wore their badges with honor and boundless pride. Such a loss for us all now that they've died. Remember this night. Remember well. From the tower the churchman fell. Strength and commitment in him entwine. Forever may his spirit shine. So much for our glorious festival night. That's the wife, so right? For that potential future I think so. Burning bright. The captain crowd's in no mood for platitudes and puppetry. Don't you mean punditry? I'm not talking about jokes. But too soon, Eula. Too soon. Show a little respect for the dead. Cue the band to play a dirge. Turn our party to a wake. Let the funeral commence for you and me. And while we watch the deflation of our community's festive spirit, the architects of this disaster lurked just a few miles away. The washed up newspaper reporter, the meddling private investigator, and the reckless blogger. They learn and how. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Don't push your luck. After all, you can drown in knee-deep water if you stand on your head. Oops. You're sticking with the story that Gordon Cordray confessed to killing Tag Kern before killing himself. That's what happened. Well... See, we've got another theory. Do share. We'll get to that. What happened next? I took the elevator from the tower back down to talk to Tina Gray. Romana Tig witnessed Tina Gray surviving an attack by a killer who climbed... Uh, yep, okay. Chief Pendleton and Deputy Chief Ozzy weren't so lucky. Such a nightmare. Hey, at least you're alive. Why'd you save me? That's a good question. Seemed like a good idea at the time. 
Took some guts going up that tower after him. Someone had to stop him. Why'd he do this? He killed Tag Kern for the insurance payout. He killed the janitor for helping me. He killed the cops trying to kill me, I figure. And to kill us or Tina? I thought Tina was the target. You went up there. Did you push him off the tower? I had him cornered, but he jumped. Wait a minute. Cordray killed Tag and Larman, killed two cops, and then he killed himself instead of you? That makes no sense. It's been a nonsensical sort of day. You're that blogger, right? Maybe not for much longer, if I don't get a post up soon. I'm Carl Rosen. My partner's Gil Stern. Stop by the morgue downtown later. We've got something you should see. Ooh, they will tell you about the... Uh, Kern. I'll stop by as soon as I can. Death by letter. Uh, Romana Tig witnessed in a grey surviving attack. Death just missed in a grey ex-girlfriend. It failed to spare local police chief. How is that edgy? Nah. God damn it, we got a problem! Hmm. Usually we get the uh, likes and uh, shares, but we didn't. <laughs> Motel overrun by sock weasels? It's Jumper! Gator's loose! He's on the prowl, and it's festival time! Better call someone who cares. I'm heading downtown. You don't get it out of towner. We've had this problem before. Dogs, cats, toddlers, ain't a one of them safe while Jumper's loose. Right. Isn't it Remy's job to take care of Jumper? Remy got called away for something else. I can't imagine Remy's doing anything more important than wrestling that gator back into captivity. It's a bad situation here. Make yourself useful. I just bet someone. Turned the gator loose as a diversion. Why would you think that? What gave you the idea? It wasn't my idea! Gaddis suggested it then. Why would I be working with Gaddis on anything? Fine. Play dumb, Sergeant Schultz. What happened next? Made my way to the tower as soon as I saw the letter fall. Listen, little girl, what we got here is a crisis situation. Little girl? That's no way to get my help, old man. Right. You gotta know better than to piss off a girl who's paid by the webhead. We got a loose gator on the run, Jack, during festival weekend. Your boy's downtown, right? That's bad. Really bad. I'll get the word out. Like that's just, you know, run a message and that's it. Is there an editor? How, where do we publish this? It's really weird. Thanks for spreading the word, Jack. Anything happens to Reggie, I'll really be gunning for Gordon Cordray, weren't you? You and Bellet couldn't stand the guy. After twenty years of bad blood, after what happened to your father during his dalliance with the Church of Us, you wanted payback. If I wanted payback, it sure as hell wouldn't be over so quickly.
You didn't feel threatened by Cordre and his guards. The only way I try to kill anyone else is if they try to kill me first. Is that what happened up on the tower? I wasn't up there when it all went down. That's not what we heard. I'm here. You're here. Let's put the past behind us. Let's talk it out. We're a bit beyond happy endings, don't you think? Look, I agreed to meet you here on good faith. Yeah, we were kind of counting on that. That's bullshit. <laughs> Whatever you want, name your price. I don't want any trouble, just let me go. Please give my regards to Boyd Conover. That's the... Men in Black Theory, I guess. That's absolute bullshit. I had nothing to do with his death. I've covered a lot of strange stories in the past three decades. This one you've cooked up, though, it's the cherry on a cow chip sundae. Come on, admit it. You wanted him. Dead as much as your old high school pal. I'm not sad he's dead, but I didn't kill him any more than I killed the Kennedys. We're not saying you pushed him off the tower. We're saying Bella did it for you. Well, you watched. That's a crock of shit. Our witness argues otherwise. Let's see the evidence. That's not how... It happened at all. Oh? I went up on that tower. I confronted Gordon Cordray. And he jumped with no help from anyone else. <laughs> A likely story. So, next, you went downtown to the police station. Sure. But let's go back to these lies you're spreading about what happened on the tower. The blood thickens, I guess. Didn't we go to the morgue? Oh, maybe the morgue is at the police station. We would expect it at the hospital. Especially in a small town. Oh, it's... What's here? Oh, it's not. I thought it was Tina. It's true then? Chip's dead? I'm sorry. Yes. Nothing you could have done about it, I'm sure. Can't save everybody. Why'd you turn out this way, sugar? She's always been quirky. Part of her appeal, I hear. Okay then, I suppose we ought to get your official statement. Make it quick, I've got a meeting at the morgue. Aha, uh -huh. cool. So the morgue is probably elsewhere. What? Don't trust Tina. It's nothing but trouble. What's uh, Karen being actually the person that sends this? And that is Tina. interesting in that text? Not really. Oh, okay. I'm off to the morgue. Take care of yourself. You know, I thought I noticed something interesting scribbled on a pad in that booth back there. Just have to get past that combination lock on the door. And hope the chief's wife doesn't notice me. The dead guy's not going anywhere. I'll make this quick. Uh, remember the sequence of keys that highlight and press the buttons in the same order.
What kind of lock is this? Collateral damage. Not sure what that's all about. Jack Squeaky collateral damage. Couldn't be helped. Couldn't be helped. Hmm. Sounds like someone in the wrong place at the wrong time, though. All right, get out of there. Just saying, we could have flat out told her at the tower. Oh, these guys are gonna die, aren't they? Wrong place, wrong time. Too many people I don't trust. The world needs to know, Gil. Tad Kern's not dead. We've got Ray Swayho in our slab instead. The collateral damage, I guess. And we'll tell everybody, Carl. Just be patient a little longer. Romana Teague's waiting at the morning. Uh, Gil, someone's in the road up ahead. Should we stop to help? Not like the dead guy with Bollins in any hurry. Don't do it. Car trouble, probably. Just pass her. She's waiting. Damn. Okay. I guess those guys are dead. Probably by Kern. Actually, I have no idea who might be responsible. I keep telling you, I had nothing to do with his death. Relax, Jack. Not easy when someone's accusing you of murder. What happened after you left Chief Roadsides? Headed to the watch to catch up with my son and ex-wife. Alright, since the game actually saved, let me end the episode here and the next one will uh, continue going through... Why are you going like that? That's weird. Through Knee Deep Act 2. For now, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time with more Knee Deep.